Today, I will share an amazing example of symbiosis between two unlikely animals. On this journey, we can reflect on the unimaginable ways that animals are interacting in oceans around the world. Our expedition brings us to one of the most remote regions on the planet, Eastern Antarctica. The ocean here is covered in sheets of ice and dramatic mountainous glaciers, slowing our progress. Luckily, we're on board the Nathaniel B. Palmer, the largest U.S. research vessel in Antarctica, and one of only 40 certified icebreakers in the world. Piercing through the ice, our steady progress carries us south past the Antarctic Circle. Here is where we encounter our unlikely duo. Navigating the seafloor is a large snail called Harpovoluta charcoti. Immediately noticeable, this snail's large siphon reaches high into the water column. But did you notice that this snail has something unusual attached to its shell? The pink hitchhiker on the back of this snail is a sea anemone, known as Isosachinus alba. But why is there an anemone attached to the shell of this snail? Let's take a closer look at these two animals. The foot of the anemone engulfs the snail's shell, so you can just barely make out the shell beneath. The dynamic here is no fluke. This species of snail always has this anemone passenger riding on its shell. Remarkably, this anemone can only be found in the wild attached to these snail's shells. To find the beginning of this relationship, we have to go all the way back to the start of the Harpa Voluta's life. The Harpa Voluta is a volute gastropod. These snails reproduce by laying large egg masses on the sea floor. These snails crawl out of their eggs looking like miniature versions of the adult animal. At this point, their shells are bare, lacking the anemone companion. But within days, every one of these snails will have a small anemone riding on its back. It's a mystery how these two animals find each other, remaining an exciting question for future marine biologists to explore. The bond between the Harpa Voluta snail and its anemone companion is symbiotic. This means that both animals benefit from their relationship. At the heart of this relationship is the anemone's formidable defense mechanism. The anemone's tentacles are armed with dangerous stinging cells called nematocysts. These nematocysts function like spring-loaded harpoons that fire to sting potential predators. The harp of the needs this protection because the shell is very thin and fragile, making it vulnerable without the anemone's protection. The shell is really only useful as a place for the anemone to attach. The anemones are also an unexpected disguise for the snail, helping it avoid unwanted attention. The anemones' irregular shape and tentacles camouflage the snail's silhouette on the sea floor, making it harder to spot by predators lurking in the waters above. In return for these protections, the anemone gets some nice benefits. First, it gets a grade A home on the sea floor, lacking desirable real estate. Anemones like Isosachinus have a large foot that needs to be able to attach to a hard surface for them to live. Unfortunately, the seafloor around Antarctica is composed mostly of soft mud and silt. And even if it found a good rock to perch, it would be stuck there, unable to traverse the mud between the rocks. The snail doubles not only as real estate, but also as a sweet ride carrying the anemone to the best feeding grounds around. A deep dive into this relationship leads to even greater intrigue. The harp of Voluta is a predator that feeds on other mollusks like gastropods and bivalves, while the anemone was primarily believed to feed on animals in the water column, like krill. However, investigations of the anemone's stomach have revealed gastropod shells. Could it be that these two distinct creatures have formed an unlikely hunting partnership, sharing in the bounty of their prey? Share your thoughts on this amazing relationship in the comments below. If you enjoyed learning about these amazing animals, please subscribe to join us on our next adventure as we continue to explore the amazing ecosystems surrounding Antarctica.